Featherbrook Estate, perfectly straddling the fine line between tranquility and convenience with both Cradlestone Mall as well as Silver Star Casino within easy reach. Here we are within an estate that takes nature seriously. Indigenous trees and greenery surrounding you. And behind me, a four bedroom, five bathroom, stunning home that has been built to perfection with so many very fine and very important details kept in mind. My name is Chad Viveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. And today we are joined by our local pooch, Mia. But come with me because as usual, Welcome home. Walking up this granite staircase flanked with stainless steel and glass, we find ourselves approaching an entry hall that opens up through these double doors, both of them tinted. Then coming into the entry hall, the first thing you'll notice is just how many clean lines this home encompasses. We've got stunning light flooring as well as light walls and the ceiling above me being at least four meters tall really does make this feel like a special, special place to be. But one of the things or the features of this home that the homeowners have done so well is incorporating nature into the design of the home. Featherbrook Estate, for those of you who know, is nestled into the foothills of Krugersdorp and all of that greenery, those plants and that luscious vegetation has been incorporated because you can see it from almost every room. This entry hall for instance, let me shuffle over here, beautiful sliding doors that open up and give you a picturesque view of those foothills. Another thing I'd love to mention about this home and throughout this home is you'll notice how high the ceilings are, making this whole home feel very, very spacious and also giving it an incredible sense of grandeur. But the design of the home has been done such that none of the rooms feel too big or too difficult to occupy and I love that feature. Now let's move this way down the hallway and first off to the left again through beautiful, beautiful pocket doors, wooden pocket doors, and you'll see that that's a design element that continues throughout the home. We find ourselves within the library. If you didn't know that by the bookshelf behind me, again, above, beautiful lighting elements incorporated throughout the home. So you've got a unique chandelier that serves as a centerpiece for this room. And another centerpiece that I definitely cannot not speak about is this fully enclosed wood fireplace. You can't have a library without being able to sit down on one of these leather ottomans and really enjoy a good book while flanked by two windows giving you a view of that foothill. Over here we've got another door that opens and stacks leading out to the pool area behind me. But we're going to be coming to that nearer the end of the video. Take a look at the stunning wood flooring. And then coming out, we pass aluminum wall sconces providing character lighting down this hallway. And here we are flanked by two very, very cool rooms. To my left, we've got the outside area, the outside deck, if you will, with the pool area. But to my right, we have an indoor, outdoor sitting room slash balcony area. And for those of you wondering how it becomes outdoors, these frameless glass panels push all the way aside. You can see that for those of us worried about safety, we've got again glass railings, almost invisible when looking outdoors, because I mean, look at that view. That view could 100% take your breath away. And it's not the only view you get in this home, but imagine sitting out here with friends, with family, enjoying drinks, enjoying a party, or even just enjoying a breakfast, because you can see how much space we've got here. And taking a look out at that view, looking at the sunset, really must be picturesque. Now, 
Again, no outdoor sitting area would be complete without your chef sink and you can see it is built in right here. Beautiful stone basin. And then we've got a gas fireplace on the left hand side. So if you'd like to whip up a meal here and entertain while having your guests over, you can do that. For those of you paying attention in the ceiling, you'll see speakers situated right over there again with this stunning down lighting again a unique characteristic for this room so those speakers you'll see throughout the home and then you do have a central home entertainment unit that you can utilize not only to listen to the radio but to play music and individually throughout whatever rooms of your choosing but i'd like to bring my cameraman over here for a second rasmus come run over here when we talk about just the details and the quality that the homeowners have taken when building this home take a look at the inlaid wood that's been done through these railings. So rare where you find those details being taken care of. But guys, you're buying a home that is incredibly unique and you're buying a home that really has been taken care of from the ground up with those homeowners and you see it through every detail. Over here, we come through again, another stunning door, wood framed with glass, providing or, or making sure these rooms feel open and airy. You can see through almost the whole house from one room. And we find ourselves in a sitting area, a lounge area, if you will, that has a bar. This is called the gray bar. Beautiful, beautiful Caesar stone countertops, inbuilt shelving, all of the lighting built in. And what bar is complete without an inbuilt bar fridge and mm, there's some nice goodies in this fridge. Over here we have one Juliet balcony and another one right over here. I love how, again, they flank this informal sitting room area and just giving you again access to those stunning views. And as I'd mentioned, informal sitting room area, beautiful place to sit down, have a drink, maybe have a light meal because right over here is the kitchen area. But before we get to the kitchen area, come along this way because before the kitchen, we do definitely need to speak about a dining room area. Right over here, we've got a 10-seater dining room table. Again, above it, another one of those art pieces that I call downlighting, stunning chandelier. Plenty, plenty of space over here. Bulkhead ceiling above me with two of those speakers built in because if you do like some mood music playing while enjoying a meal with friends and family, this house has got you catered for. And then over here, again, what is a stunning dining room area without a wood-fired fireplace? This one, slightly different from what we've just seen previously and I think it fits this room even better. You've got that dark wrought iron look flanked by a light and then colored wall giving you that piece of character. See the two baskets of wood. Can you imagine sitting here at the head of this table with friends, with family, maybe even with business colleagues celebrating your successes because living in this home you know your life is going to be nothing but success moving forward and successes definitely mean you need to have a celebratory pool day. So let's head outside and take a look at what the pool area is. And here we are within the pool area. And let me tell you why I think this pool area is so special. One, we've got the inbuilt floor lighting, which I think really does bring a lot of character to pool areas, specifically at night. And then we've got this pool, which is one of the bluest pools we've ever shot on the Home Shopper Show. I love, again, that attention to detail and that love and care the homeowners have put in when building this home. In front of me, we've got a feature wall that also serves as a fountain. We've unfortunately had to turn that off just for noise reasons. We've got these beautiful wall sconces for all of the downlighting you might need. And then coming through this, as you've seen, that pool area leads to exactly where you're gonna be whipping up meals, you know, maybe entertaining some guests in front of me, fire pit over here. My favorite, La Chata Mi Cantare, the pizza oven. So for those of you that enjoy pizza, you've got that done. Over here, we've got a wood-fired barbecue. And then around the corner for all of your storage needs, maybe if you're sorting out laundry or just need some storage area for all of your pool lounges and your pool chairs and that stuff, you can do it just around the corner. Something else I'd want to mention is take a look at this. We've got this clear fencing right over here so you can see out and enjoy nature because you are flanked by it. Let me swivel over this way. Guys, take a look at the 180 degree views behind me. It is absolutely incredible and then we can go down these stairs and we'll find ourselves at another patio but that patio comes a little bit later because what we need to speak about right now is that kitchen so let's head on inside and take a look at what the kitchen has to offer and now that we've showed the outdoor cooking areas let's now talk about the indoor cooking areas here we are within this stunning kitchen first thing i'd like to notice is as i mentioned convenience is a key feature of this home and in terms of convenience we've got a plug point built into these Caesar stone countertops and it is illuminated if you want to use it at night. So I really love seeing this. We don't see it nearly often enough. 
right over here, Central Island again, and I'm gonna mention over and over, we've got the feature lights for this room, this down lighting pushing down onto the Center Island. So if you do need that illumination, we've got you covered. I love how this, or how large this Center Island is, how far it stretches, and the fact that just underneath here, you can pull out some chairs so they are hidden and not in your way. On the right-hand side, as I've mentioned, Chef Sink is the number one key feature. You're not living in a luxury home unless you've got one of these Chef Sinks, but this home takes it further, and we've got this right here. Some of you are probably familiar with it, but this gives you either instant chilled water or instant boiling water. So for those of us tea, us tea lovers, it's covered, guys. At night, you don't need to wait for any kettles to boil. You can just get your tea immediately. On my right-hand side, I'm sure you guys have noticed I mean, this incredible bit of machinery right over here. So let's run through it. All of this, including the stovetop, is gaga now. We've got your coffee machine, your warming drawer, another warming drawer, one oven, a steam cooker, a steam oven, and then right over here is your microwave. Over here, gas countertop. We've got a five top burner underneath another Gaganau oven. We've got, <laughs> I know guys, this is, this, is, this is kitted out. We're not playing over here. We've got an inverter over here, and then over here, your teppanyaki grill, and then take a look above us. This is not just any kind of bulkhead ceiling. Your extractor fan is built into the ceiling. You can see the down lighting there as well. Really cool place to be, and I can only assume it must be an even nicer place to cook. And then rounding off this kitchen is our inbuilt freezer right over here, and then the fridge over here. All the way tucked out of sight, so it's not gonna bother you, but then flanked by this stunning white countertop. And then over here, Guys, my favorite, you know I love going wine shopping every time I do one of these shows. We've got an inbuilt wine chiller with glass so you can still use that. You can still see what's going on in there and enjoy wine on a day like today, which is blisteringly hot. But stop right there because over here is your pantry. So behind these sliding doors is exactly where you'll find your pantry. I love again how the clean lines of this home are kept by utilizing like really, really smart and uh, interesting cupboard designs. So I do dig that. But here we are within the back end of the kitchen and over here is where you'll find the remainder of your sinks. We've got a double sink over here with a single large rectangular sink over there, under counter storage throughout and this is also where you can find any of the space that you might need for your under counter appliances. Again, as I mentioned, clean lines are a key feature of this home. So that's your dishwasher and that's one of your dryers. And right through this door, you're back outside to your outdoor cooking areas where we started this culinary experience, should I say. Now, the remainder of the upstairs area is dedicated to bedrooms and offices, which for a lot of our regular viewers, you know we leave that for last. So I'm going to pull you back inside because there's a really cool feature. And let's go downstairs and talk about the garage space and talk about the remainder of what's downstairs, some of those surprises. We're going to be taking a ride that we haven't taken in quite a long time. And that ride is this ride over here. This home has its very own elevator, so when you're parking your cars to get those groceries from the downstairs storage areas or the parking lot upstairs to the kitchen is done right through this baby right over here. So we're gonna wait for the lift to arrive. We're gonna jump in it, we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna find ourselves in the laundry slash downstairs storage area. And here it is. And here we are after that cool little ride, we find ourselves in the downstage storage section. You'll see beautiful cupboard space right over here for you to store all of your dry goods. And coming through this walkway here, this is your laundry area. So you've got your washer, your dryer combo with another sink. And for those of you who need it, and I think for a home like this, it's definitely gonna come in wanting is some space for another double fridge. And here we are guys, this is your garage area, a five car garage. All of the doors are automated. You can see the lighting throughout. You've also got the speaker system. So if you want your music to be playing when you arrive, this garage has got you covered. Stunning, stunning flooring as well. You can just see exactly how well kept this home is with how clean the flooring is. On my right hand side, if we flick this switch right over here, we've got another storage area here that you can utilize as you see fit. But that does cover the garage. There's only so much to talk about. Oh, before we go, guys, take a look at this. As I mentioned, you've got a central home control unit and here is one of the many control pads you'll see throughout the home. So if you wanna up your music, if you wanna change your radio station, that's done right over there.
And then here we are in the downstairs entry hall. So for those of you who maybe don't want your guests to be coming on upstairs and walking through a lot of the living areas, here is a downstairs entry hall that you can utilize as you see fit. Down through these double doors, you'll find the granite stairs that I took a walk up at the beginning of the videos. You'll also see your water feature down there as well as the rest of your garden. But this downstairs area includes features that are more than just that elevator over there as cool as that elevator may be right in front of me we've got your guest bathroom so let's take a look at that right now so coming through your wood frame door you find yourself in your guest bathroom it includes a single vanity with mirror above it again stunning lighting elements in this bathroom with your toilet soft close toilet seat hidden system that's tucked away just to your left now that we've got the guest bathroom out of the way, let's take a walk up these stairs and you'll find yourself in something that could be another bedroom, but right now I think it makes perfect sense for it to be what it is, and that is the gym area. No gym is complete without plenty of lighting and music. And you've got the speakers in the ceiling just for that. You can see all the equipment over here. You've got a huge mirror on this side over here that runs across the length of the wall. And then over here, one of the coolest features, your very own dry sauna. So you've got a cedar sauna right in there, glass door opening up. You can go right on in and sweat, sweat it out, sweat out all the stress. Although today is hot enough to be a sauna all on its own. And then on the right hand side, again, flanked by this beautiful wood is another shower slash toilet area. So you've got your single toilet on the left hand side, again, soft closed lid, hidden system. You've also got a shower, completely glass enclosed shower, and then a single vanity there with a mirror above it. So when you're done with your session, when you've jumped out that sauna, you can go right into the shower there, clean yourself up, go off into the dressing room, get ready for your day and get started. But that does not even conclude the downstairs area. So follow me because we've got some stuff to talk about. The first thing you're gonna see is this large set of stairs that go all the way upstairs. Those stairs take you right to your entrance hall. So as soon as I walked into the home, that's where those set of stairs lead off. We're gonna go down this passage, however, so follow me down. And here we are within a very special area, a very cool area, probably an area that's gonna be many of our children's favorite area. That is your own indoor cinema. Above us, we've got that bulkhead ceiling with very, very particular dice lighting. You can see the shape of the lighting and how it's cast onto the ceiling. Then in the edges of the bulkhead ceiling, we've got some LED lighting, throwing out color changing LED right on the ceiling. Just lending this room an air of it being more playful, more fun, just a bit more special. We've got aircon in this as well as that surround sound speaker system built into the ceiling. We've got posters, movie posters all across the wall. And then throughout the whole home, I think this is a good place to talk about it, you've also got your heated flooring. And coming out of the cinema, we find ourselves in this special place right here, another one of my favorite places. Upstairs was the gray bar. This right here is the black bar. We've got ourselves a microwave, another one of those chef sink, built-in fridge right over here. Oh, containing a lot of wine that my itchy fingers might be digging into. And over here, a little bar area for you to sit down, enjoy your popcorn, maybe even whip up a small meal before you head back into the cinema. So I love that it's included and the access is so easy to get to where the cinema is. And here we are now finally taking a step out onto the outdoor patio downstairs after exploring the upstairs patio and taking a look at it. Now I love that this patio was included for numerous reasons. One, you've got this wraparound garden that explores out. Two, you can take a look at the beautiful view outdoors. But my favorite, favorite, favorite reason is this right here. You've got this wraparound seating. You can throw some cushions on it, turn it into a little fire pit area, roast some marshmallows after enjoying a movie inside. Can you imagine enjoying the stars or taking a look at them? out here at the foot deals of Krugersdorp. There must be hardly any light pollution. The sky must be incredible. And I'm telling you, I don't think you're gonna find another home in Johannesburg with access to all the amenities and a sky or a night sky just like this. But there's more to explore downstairs. So head on back inside and let's take a look at what it is. Now leaving the black bar behind me, we find ourselves in another sitting room area, the downstairs pajama lounge, if you will. Above us, bulkhead ceilings, plenty of down lighting, two speakers built into the ceiling, as I've mentioned. Every room in this home has got access to that sound system. Over here, we've got all the connections already built into the wall for you to throw on an LCD screen. And if you'd like to enjoy movies here, maybe in a little bit more cozy or personal area, you can do it. You don't always need to use the cinema. Over here, we've got two doors that open outwards onto the remainder of the back garden and we find ourselves now in a hallway leading off to the guest bedrooms the first one being this right here so let's take a look at it and let's talk about it 
Above us, you've got a majority bulkhead ceiling, so that hides away the top railing of your curtain. I love that design element. Down lighting, those speakers in the, in the ceiling, and then over here, you've got these stunning floating shelves built in. I love that design element. You've got a built-in desk as well, so if your children do need a place to do homework, that's covered. You've got some cupboards here that are built into the desk, and then these gloss cupboards across, providing all the storage space for your clothes or your guests if they are staying for a long time. Now, coming out of that bedroom, we've got our second guest bedroom, and this one being a little bit bigger, a little bit more grandiose, beautiful wood flooring again, that majority bulkhead ceiling hiding the curtain rail. We've got this huge open wall right here that you can throw a flat screen on, that attention to detail extending. So if you do want to put a TV here, all the connections are there. Plenty, plenty, plenty of space here for a bed, even bigger than this. And right here we do have a queen bed, so you know just how big this area is. In the left-hand side, you can put a little smoker's corner, maybe a, a reading nook, a place for you to sit down with a good book, maybe a cup of coffee or whiskey, and enjoy yourself. And again, a continuation of that curved window area looking out onto this stunning front lawn with all that greenery and that incredible water feature. But this guest bedroom does also have its very own ensuite bathroom. And a couple of things beside that. Another one of those desks in case you need to do some work when away from home, the cupboard space should you need it. And let's take a look at this bathroom. This guest bathroom, it is also a little bit bigger than the one we saw before. It includes this time a bathtub again, a floating toilet tucked away in the corner with a hidden cistern, single vanity, under counter storage, your mirror just above it, and the shower really is the standout feature here. Your shower is completely walk-in with a floor to ceiling window looking out onto the garden area, really letting you enjoy the fact that you're living right there in wilderness. So coming out of the guest bedrooms as well as the downstairs area, we find ourselves at the foot of another set of stairs. Guys, you remember me talking about that first set of stairs that I said winded its way up all the way to where we started this video. This hallway here brings you around the outside and you'll find yourself just on the other set. So what that means is you've got two beautiful set of wood clad stairs that allow you to make your way up to your front door. And over here you can appreciate how that hallway wraps around because yeah, Floor to ceiling glass, letting you enjoy that view, an incredible view it is. But we've also got a set of doors downstairs, so if you do want to have access to your front yard, enjoy that water feature, enjoy all of the greenery in that manicured lawn, you can do it, and then come on right in through that set of doors. Whew, what a walk, but here we are, right up to where we began, where this all started. But instead of going right, we're going to be going left, because this side, or this wing of the home, has some really cool surprises in store for us. And the first one being immediately to my right. Before we go in there though, there's something I need to talk about. Not many homes have two guest bathrooms, this one does. Here's your second guest bathroom, so anybody coming through the front door, if they do need to make use of the ablutions of the facilities, here it is right here. The theme continues, you've got your hidden cistern tucked away into that beautiful tile. Then your single vanity as well as a massive mirror just above it. And here we are, the first of those many special things that you're gonna find upstairs. This is another guest bedroom, if you will, but this bedroom, what makes it oh so special is this view right over here. Incredible view of the nature reserve behind Featherbrook Estate. Living in Featherbrook Estate as well does give you access to the botanical gardens at any given time. And some other amenities of Featherbrook Estate, well, you've got a restaurant, you've got squash courts, tennis courts, biking trails, river walks, you've got everything you could think of an upmarket estate that is in Johannesburg. Now, this room here also has access to its very own bathroom area. Let's talk about that. Let's do a quick tour around it and then let's walk out, take a look at the office and then the creme de la creme, the master suite. Now your ensuite bathroom, you've got your toilet tucked away again, soft closed lid, walk-in shower, and this is a fully walk-in shower, beautiful glass framing it, your single vanity mirror above it, some storage behind it, and then your bathtub tucked away in the corner there, really nice spacious bathtub with a, a window above it, again giving you those incredible views of the outside and the nature reserve, the bird life, everything you could ever want while enjoying yourself a bubble bath. Now coming out of that guest bedroom, we found it's twin right over here, a lot of it copied, except this one is dedicated exclusively to it being an office. You've got all of this inbuilt desk space as well as cupboard space and shelving above it. Again, the theme of those beautiful neutral colors continues throughout this home, stunning flooring and then that window just in front of you, letting you do some work here, get a lot done, but still do it in style, do it in luxury and do it in tranquility because again, you've got the heels of Krugersdorp running 
just in front of you. I love how it's been done. I love the thought process when it came to putting in different windows. Above us, plenty of down lighting, those huge tall ceilings, built-in speakers above us, and then the bulkhead ceiling again, cutting off the top railings of those curtains, making it just look a little bit more luxurious than usual. Now, out there guys, I'm sure you can get a peek of it. I'm covering it on purpose because that right there is the master suite, the creme de la creme. Let's take a walk into it. Let's take a look at what living and sleeping in a 29, 990,000 rent home in Featherbrook Estate feels like. After you. And here it is guys. The creme de la creme, the master suite, and first, the master bathroom. Not many bathrooms are so large that you can fit an area rug in, but there it is, you've got an area rug. You've got this stunning jacuzzi tub dominating the center, really making it a statement piece, and this bathroom definitely does make a statement, because if your eyes weren't drawn to this, then it definitely was drawn to this shower right over here. Glass panel reaching the whole length of it. Talk about a walk-in shower. And I'm actually gonna go take a walk in it. Over here, rainfall shower head. Not one, not two, but four auxiliary jets, all controlled by this stunning stainless steel control panel. Basically looks brand new. We've got the stunning glass again that I have to mention. And over here, it's not floor to ceiling, but you could basically say this is a floor to ceiling window that you can enjoy the greenery outside. You can really enjoy that view while getting ready. Over here, another statement piece. You've got all of this inbuilt lighting in the shelving over here. Two mirrors flanking it and cupboard space inside of that. You can display your perfumes, can display your colognes, can even display your towels. In front of me, two single vanities, you know, his and hers vanity, under counter storage, beautiful Caesar's tone flanked. You've even got your very own shower right over here for this again you know ease of use is name of the game when it comes to this home i've seen it in so many different areas on rooms in this house we've got wall-to-wall -wall mirrors over there when getting ready again some windows over here providing you a different view and not a view you see often in this home but a view outside and the remainder of Reimsuch and then right where you guys are standing is a separate private area that's your toilet area with another basin for you to utilize you can close the door and really have all the privacy you need so that's quite a clever touch as well but that's not all it's not all for the creme de la creme because we've also got a walk-in closet right over here so follow me in and here it is your walk-in closet. Now this closet is special because, again, some careful, really good touches were applied when making this because this is air conditioned. No windows in this room, so we've put an air conditioning system inside it. Plenty of down lighting, mirrors flanking here, so when you are getting ready, you know that the mirror there is exactly where you're gonna be getting ready in front of all of these sliding cupboards open up to provide you all the cupboard space you might need and i love again that those design elements have continued throughout this home with that white faced cabinet beautiful gloss and here it is guys the creme de la creme the master suite the flooring i cannot get enough of from when we come from the cream that cream poured concrete to this beautiful wood it really does feel so well taken care of and so high quality i think it's these small touches that make a house really feel expensive above me again a bulkhead ceiling two of the speakers incorporated into the ceiling and over here the ceiling extends even higher giving you that that, that feeling of grandeur but I think the key feature, and one of my favorite features, is this right here. You've got these windows that run the whole length of this wing, and you can open up all of these windows individually, opening them up. But for safety and security, you can see these glass railings have been built in. Tilted down, you can slide this open, enjoy your front yard, take a look at the manicured lawn, and the stunning view all the way down to Lanseria. I mean, that is not a bad view. You can see planes landing, guys. And this is all from your master suite. I love how it's been done. I love how this house has been put together. There's a couple of other features I'd want to mention. And I think a lot of you are thinking cleaning this house must be so difficult, but it's not. There's a central vacuum system. I've mentioned the heated flooring. Then, if you'd like to keep pets, this home, a lot of the homes inside a space like this don't have it, but it's fully walled off so you can keep your pets. We've got an intercom system with a camera in it so when you do have guests coming you know well you're gonna know exactly who it is and then electric fencing running the whole complex 24-hour security guards at the front access codes safety is not something you'd ever need to worry about and over here 
We've got the panels controlling all the systems in the house, your central home entertainment system, as well as the alarm system. We've got these beautiful, really hefty doors, beautiful wood. And then you've also got a central generator system. So when the lights do go out, they're not going out over here. You know, you're gonna be taken care of. And that does conclude this incredible home in Featherbrook Estate. So let's head off outside, let's talk about pricing and let's talk about how you can arrange a viewing or for a lot of you, how you can purchase this incredible home. Let's go. And there you have it folks, we've taken a tour around this incredible 29,990,000 home and right here we are outside at the front in front of that water fountain or water feature I was mentioning earlier. So ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to purchase this home, the person to contact is Devin Bruff and he can schedule either a viewing or take you through the steps necessary to become the new homeowners of this incredible home right here in Featherbrook Estate. Guys, do not miss out. I think this, at this price point, is an absolute steal. But that's it for myself, Chad Viveros, everybody at the Home Shopper Show. Thank you so much for tuning in every Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. And for everybody looking for a home, searching for a home, whether it's this big, whether it's this lavish, whether it's this meticulous, anywhere in between, guys, please go to www.privateproperty.co.com ZA because we incorporate every single home across every single estate agency across South Africa all in one easy to find and easy to search location so I'll see you there and I'll see you next time thank you so much and goodbye